We've arrived at the depot at 5.30. There's up to 27 domestic rounds which are leaving the depot today, along with 13 recycling rounds and five green waste rounds. And their objective today is empty endless wheel bins of domestic waste, recycling waste, which equates to about 160,000 tonne a year. So we have approximately 112 staff operating from here to man up all the refuse collection rounds, the recycling rounds, the trade waste rounds and the bulk collection rounds. They get the keys from the hatch upstairs to the canteen, get any equipment from the stores and then they work their way down to the vehicle, check the vehicles over before they then proceed to leave the yard, making sure they've got all the equipment, all the staff and anything else that they need for the working day. Uh, the transits are all for litter picking mostly. Obviously they've all got designated areas where they all have a crew, maybe four or five people go out litter picking, also emptying the litter bins, street furniture, and may pick up any large items that have been left out, furniture or beds or sofas, but they mostly are there for litter picking. I found a body and then I found somebody unconscious, I saw him fall. You know, you try to help people, but job we do on early mornings, we, you know, we find people like that in town, sleepless and almost, but we enjoy it, you like to help people, you know, if you can. This one day we, were, we was out binning and uh, we had a, a crash. Next thing we, we seen a couple of lads running. So anyway, somebody shouted that they, they, they broke into this house. So we, we give chase and, they, and we, caught, we caught them outside the Richard Dunn Sports Centre. And just as it happened, a policeman came out and he got police for us, so we, we caught a burglar. You know, through communication and trying to educate people into getting, you know, that the area will be better in the long run. It'll be tidier, there'll be no rubbish all over the floor like there is now. The bin policy is just coming in now. We're trying to get everybody into recycling. Um, it's working in some areas, some areas it's still hard to get them to do it but majority are doing it if you want a new bin a grey bin to, to do your recycling uh, it's just ring the council and they will be happy to oblige and give you a new bin you pull up in the wagon uh, the traffic lights there was a chap that um, used to sit there with his stockings and suspenders and bra and every week he used to wave to us that we couldn't help. Every week we just look, used to look and laugh <laughs> because it was quite amusing to see him sat there every week. He used to wait for us to pass in the wagon. Um, we do have a lot of issues with access for, as you can see, the, these tight um, alleys and some people with their parking. Um, on the whole, though, uh, it, there, there is a big improvement. City centre is more condensed, we experience more issues, more with parking, sometimes it'll get skips blocking access, some roadworks that are going off, so we have to sort of maybe have a word with the contractors, see if they give us access to certain streets, or we'll try and come back later in the day if the access is clear, and then try and procure the waste and the bins. They'll come back in, uh, they'll refuel their vehicles, they'll do the daily checks on an evening as well, so making sure everything's working in terms of the lights, the sensors, the lifting gear, and make sure everything's in check for the for the early morning start. So we do like a double check once in the morning and once in an evening. And if there are any issues, we can we have the opportunity then for the workshops team to come out in the evening to carry out the repairs. We've recently brought in the bin policy which limits households <coughs> to one bin. This hopefully will encourage more people to recycle. What we're also looking to do and all is to get it to local schools, start the education with the children. They can then talk to their parents and educate the parents as well. But recycling is, 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 is a need now because unfortunately we've no more holes to put domestic waste in anymore. So people need to be aware that we need to recycle more. And all we can do is urge people to think before what they put in bins and hopefully help us to support the environment and let's all recycle together.